Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and today we're going to make rotisserie chicken salad. This is in my second cookbook. It's a delicious recipe. It does have variations so you can add pecans or leave the celery out or whatever you want to throw in there. It'll just be delicious, I guarantee it. So, the easiest thing is, is that you get to use a rotisserie chicken. And if you work, that's a blessing. Now, go by the store, pick up a rotisserie chicken and some croissants and some lettuce and you will have a nice chicken salad uh, supper. And it's quick, okay? So we are chopping up half of a medium. This one was almost a large onion, so that's plenty of onion, I think, for, me, for our chicken salad right there. We're also going to take some dill, and I'm gonna put it right here on the... Okay. We're gonna take some uh, dill, and I'm going to lay it out right here on my cutting board, and I'm gonna chop it so that it's fresh. Okay, I'm gonna use my little rocker blade, and I'm gonna chop up this dill a little bit so it'll be nice and fresh and tasty in our chicken salad. If you don't have dill, you can use whatever you want to use. I mean, it don't. it's not an ingredient that has to be added. I just think it's good. Okay, so the recipe calls for a half cup of mayonnaise. So normally I would just scoop it out into the bowl, but today I'm going to Measure it out for you guys. So we're gonna put that in the bowl. And somebody had told me not to use my hands to mix up my chicken salad and to use my mixer. I did that the other day and it was like mush. So I don't think I'll ever do that again. Just a heads up, if you decide to do that, um, you better use the dough hook or something because I used the paddle and it didn't work. Okay, our onions, I'm actually gonna chop these a little finer. More minced. We'll use this rocking blade for them too. I had a viewer send me these. She just likes to use them at home and thinks they're convenient. And they really are great for, you know, mincing up your spices and your vegetables to a smaller size, especially with it coming up Thanksgiving and stuff, uh, you might want to get you one. It can be a Christmas gift. Early. <laughs> An early Christmas gift. Okay, so we're gonna get our onions and our dill into the bowl. We're gonna put some pepper in here, about a quarter teaspoon. And celery. I like to put in about an eighth cup of celery and um, you can split it in half and then chop it or you can just chop it however you wanna do it. But chop it thin, okay? You can use the rocker again if you don't want it to be in big pieces. If you do not like the crunchy part, I think it's good in the salad. If you don't like a crunch in your salad, um, then you can uh, use celery seed. Now, um, a lot of people put diced apples in their chicken salad, pecans in their chicken salad. Uh, they put some people put raisins, some people put dried cranberries, some people put grapes, halves. I mean, there's just all different kinds of ways you can do it, and they all work. Whatever you like, you put in there. Celery's going in. Now here's our chicken. Now one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to combine chicken and vegetables on the same cutting board. So I always use my meats away from that cutting board, even if they're cooked meats, and I use a cutting board that I can actually put in the dishwasher, okay? That's what I do. 
You can also just, you know, make sure you use a, something that's going to sanitize it well. Now this is a chicken that will have a little skin on it. We'll have to take some of it off, but it's good and done. I'm, I'm just going to chop it up a little bit before we add it to the bowl. You hate to take the skin off because that's where a lot of the flavoring is, but now this chicken's going to be really good anyway. So I'm going to just try to put out on the board about how much you would have with a rotisserie chicken. That's pretty close. Pretty doggone close. Let me go get my knife. Now what I do is I chop it from like three quarters of an inch to an inch wide across it. And all that does, and then if I got a big piece like this one, I'll split it in half. That's all I do. We're going to get this in our bowl. And I'm not going to put my chicken up until I mix this up and make sure that is going to be enough for us. I'm actually going to try to do it with this today. And just see how I do. I like to mix it up with my hand because I like for it to separate. Especially if it's been in the refrigerator, it's cold and it don't want to separate. And I don't like mine in big hunks like that, so I'm going to use my hands. It looks like it's got all the right ingredients in it to me. It's It's got plenty of mayonnaise in it. When you mix it up with your hands, my hands are really clean. Um, I just squeeze it. Now, like I said, if you don't want to do it this way, use your mixer, but you better be careful because I threw some in the mixer the other day and it was just like mush. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with using your hands. If you've got a phobia, then put on a glove, but keep a, a toothbrush near your sink that's for cleaning things and brush up under your nails and stuff before you do something like this and after you do something like this and there's nothing wrong with it, okay? And I'm gonna give it a taste right quick to make sure it's got enough of everything in it before I go wash my hands. Delish. Okay, we got us a nice clean tomato. And I am going to slice it and just put it around the edges of the bowl to make it pretty. And we're gonna have this for dinner with croissants. So we're just going to bring these tomatoes over here and we'll place this in a bowl. Let y'all take a look how pretty it looks. Yummy, this is going to be delish. Amy loves chicken salad. Loves it. Okay, let's throw our little tomatoes on here. Be nice and pretty. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did.